Thank you, God, your best, my friend. Aha! What's that? I want to ask you one question right now. Bring it up. Glory is greater than to you, the Lord divine. There is no one greater. There is no one greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Say, who is better than to you, the Lord of honor? You say, there is no one better. You say, there is no one better. Hey. Nobody's greater. Nobody's greater than you. I say, say, Lord, there is no one better. You say, who's right? Nobody. I'm not tired, Lord. 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 I'm Jesus, no, no, nobody, nobody, nobody's great, nobody's greater than you. Everybody looks to us, no, 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 nobody's great, nobody's great, nobody's great, nobody's greater than you. Look at that. Yahweh. Everybody, come on. Jesus, now you don't know. Now you don't know. Jesus, now you don't know. Jesus, now you don't know. Oh, yeah, 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 Invisible God, you're the miracle worker, you are worthy, oh Lord. Invisible God, you are the miracle worker. You are the only Father to child From your spirit to my spirit Lighted by your word Hey, hallelujah With your breath of life That's how I come alive that's how I change my word. Sing it together. Let's sing it together. Say, Father to child. Father to child. From your spirit to my spirit. Spirit to spirit. Like
lighted by lighted your word. Hey, learn with your breath alive. And with your breath alive. That's how I call my life. That's how I change my world. Worship you for me. For all the things you've done for, for me. me. Hey, no one can worship you for me. Here is my worship. All of my worship. Receive. Receive my worship. All of my worship. All of my worship. Worship you for me. Lift your voice and say like you meant it. For all, all the things, things, you've you've done done things you've done for me. Things you've done. Things you've done. And no one can worship you for me. Please, my worship. All of my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. Receive my worship. Shut up! I 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 shut up!
In Jesus' name we have given thanks. The psalmist said, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefit. God has done a lot for us in this season. We are going to be thanking God for God's mercy over our life. For God's mercy over our nation, Nigeria. We are going to be giving him all the praise, all the glory for his mighty hand upon Nigeria this season. I wanted to open your mouth and begin to tell Father, thank you. We see your hand mighty in our midst. And we say thank you. This is the work of no man. This is your work. And we say thank you, Baba. Thank you for having mercy upon Nigeria. Thank you for having mercy upon our nation. Thank you for having mercy upon the church. And let us also Bless the Lord of my soul. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and joy forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and joy forever. I am a brother. We worship you, Father. We worship you, We worship you, God. We worship you, glorious God. We say thank you, God, for your mercy, for your hand of protection, for your hand of provision. We worship you, God, for your mercy, for your hand of Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for deliverance of God. Thank you for liberation of God. Lord, we worship your majesty. We give you all the praise of our Abba Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Praise the Lord. We have worshipped and we have prayed. It's now to talk. Hallelujah. In this kingdom, we thrive by what we say. Hallelujah. The Bible says you shall have what you... Hallelujah. It said what you say in my ear, that will I do. Praise the Lord. So we're going to raise our voice. We're going to, you're going to soar us, okay, and allow your enemy hear you this morning. Hallelujah. This sorrow, okay, it's not only for the government. Let your enemy know what God is about to do in our lives. Hallelujah. A new day is done in my life and in our ministry. The king's heritage. God is doing something brand new amongst us. We see it clearly, we wholly align with it and running passionately with a vision things are happening so fast everything is happening at once blessings and increase everywhere the switch is in our favor natural laws are suspended protocols are broken we are enjoying God's fabulous grace and mercy massively we are the king's heritage. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. There is now therefore no condemnation on me. The life of God flows through me. I am a partaker of God's divine nature. Viruses, germs, bacteria die on contact with my body. God has given me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. My mind is flooded with light and there is no trace of darkness in me. I declare, please say it one more time, I declare that I have more than enough. 
resources to fulfill my destiny and to give massively to God's work. The Lord has made us eternal excellencies and a joy of many generations. God has given me all things. Emphasis on all things. Hallelujah. To enjoy freely. All things are mine. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Our ministry is growing bigger, larger, richer, better, stronger, and more powerful every day. We are dominating. The airwaves and multitudes are coming to Christ and are joining us as a result. We are growing exponentially and effortlessly and spreading on all sides. We are effortlessly attracting and retaining choice people. We are raising champions, the best in every field. Change agents who are sold out to Jesus and wholly committed to the king's heritage. Hallelujah. Those who rise, us, rise against us are defeated before our faces. They come out against us in one way and flee seven ways. For greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Any accuser who takes us to court will be dismissed as a liar. You know why? You know why? Because we are unstoppable. Just fine. I'm here. 
healing you. I'm healing you. Come on. Healing you. I'm healing you. God loves me specially. Hallelujah. There's a song I like so much. I just want us to rock that song a little. Praise the Lord. Are you ready to rock? You can't rock only in the clubs. This is where the real rocking happens. Have I tell them, tell, tell them. Do you have done for me what no man can do? You have done, say Jesus, Jesus. You are so good, Jesus, Jesus. Hey, you, what no man, what no man can do? You have done for me what no man can. You have done, Jesus. What no 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 no! You have done for me, Jesus. You have done for me, God. Hey, say Jesus. You are so good. 
so 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 you were you were oh, no, 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 no. you were there for me you were there for me too you were there you were there for me what no man can do you have done for me what no man can do you have done for me Are you sure that what no man can do, he has done for you? I don't know about you. You know your connection is so strong. My own connection is not that strong. I don't know about you. It's like you have many security and many things to fall back on. But I ain't got nobody to fall back on. I say nobody to fall back on. There's only one person I've got. I don't know about you, but for me, what no man can do, he has he done, done for me. me. I said, what no man can do, he, he has, has done, done for me. me. Last year, at the, is it last year now? This year, at the back of the hospital, it looked like I was not going to take the next breath. The doctor looked at me and she shook his head and was like, wow, we are about to lose this one. But the God can, that can do what no man can do, step into the situation. I said he stepped into the situation. He stepped into the situation. And I'm alive today. I said what no man can do, he has done for me. I said what no man can do, he has done for me. What the doctors could not do, he has done for me. Come on, give me that song. Oh, Lord, you have done for me what no man can do. You have done. What no man can do? Hey, what no man can do? Hey, say Jesus, you were so good. Yeah, 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 Jesus, you were so good. You were so good. No man, what no man can do. Hey. You have done hey. Hey. what no man can do. You have done for me. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Father, once again, we want to say thank you. For what no man can do, you have done for us. Thank you for keeping everyone during the COVID. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for your love, oh God. Thank you for being faithful. The predictions of the experts failed, oh God. Because actually you are the greatest expert. You are the real expert. They predicted upon the lands of Africa will be dead bodies. But thank God, no dead bodies. Father, we are grateful. We say receive all our praise and gratitude. In the name of Jesus. You know the devil doesn't want you to shout for joy. Come on now, shout for joy. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Glory to God. I'm excited this morning. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and tell the person, you are the Joshua army. You are a part of the Joshua army. You are a part of the Joshua army. I like the Joshua army because the Joshua army is the people that take possession of territories. I declare upon you, you will take possession of territories in the name of Jesus. I said you will take possession of territories in the name of Jesus. The houses your parents could not build, you will build them in the name of Jesus. The cars they could not ride, you will ride them in the name of Jesus. The school fees they could not pay, you will pay for yours and you will pay for others in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Last week, Pastor began to talk to us about the Joshua army. He has been taking that series now for a while. And he let us know that the Joshua army is different from the Moses generation. Praise the Lord. That is the Joshua generation is totally different from the Moses generation. The Moses generation, he said, was all about maintenance. Was all about making sure that everything was steady in the camp and everybody was okay in the camp. But he said something. He said the Joshua army 
is different from the Moses generation. And that the Joshua army is the army that will not just make sure things are settled or good in the camp. There are those that will step out into the enemy's territory and take possession of that which God has given them. I see you taking possession of that which the enemy has tampered with. Your amen is not strong enough. I say, I see you taking possession. I see you taking possession. I see you taking possession. Oh, hallelujah. Let me tell you something about receiving the word. Once the word is coming, you say, this is my own. I receive it in Jesus' name. I see you taking possession. You know what you begin to do with your mind? God gave you your mind to do something. When you hear like that, he says, I see you taking possession. You look within yourself. What are those things I've been thinking? One day, one day, one day. That day is today. I say that day is today. So what do you do? You say, God, I take possession of that thing. I take possession of that soul. I take possession of that property. I take possession of that degree. I take possession. You just take the possession. In your heart, in your spirit. You shall take possession. I am part of the Joshua army. Uh -uh, you didn't hear what I said. I'm not talking about you. I said, I am part of the Joshua army. Everything God has ordained for me, I will collect. Nothing can cut me short. Did you hear what I said? Everything he has ordained for me, I will be. I thought somebody would say that. Bolo just stand up to your feet. I feel a great unction to declare and make pronouncement. Everything that has held you back in time past from taking possession, I declare they are scattered. They are destroyed. You are released in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus. You take possession. I said you take possession. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says light shines in the darkness. And the darkness cannot comprehend it. Your light will shine. I said your light will shine. Your light will shine. In the name of Jesus. Lay your hands on your head. I receive a new grace. Declare it with me. Say, I receive a new grace. I receive a new anointing. To take possession. To take possession. Of all. Of all. That God has ordained for me. That God has ordained for me. Now. No more delay. No more delay. I receive the wisdom. I receive the grace. To take possession in Jesus name if somebody believed that you would have given the Lord a big shout of thank you hallelujah praise the Lord Joshua chapter 1 you may be seated let's start from verse 10 pastor stopped at verse 10 last week or verse 11 let's start from verse 10 hallelujah Glory to God. Okay, go to verse 9. Let's start from verse 9. Pastor has spoken about all this. We'll just start there for a recap. He said, have I not commanded you? Be strong and of a good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed. For I, the Lord your God, is with you wherever you go. Hallelujah. This was the command of God to Joshua. Have I not commanded you? Am I not the one that has spoken to you? You should never be afraid. Tell somebody, don't be afraid. You can take it. You can take the territory. Hallelujah. But I want to say to you, don't let your mind only go to that land. Did you hear me? Don't let your mind go to cars alone. Because spiritual things are more weightier than physical things. The truth is that when you take over spiritual things, the natural things will follow you. 
The Bible says in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, he says, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be what? Added unto you. So when I say you are taking territories, look at the fact that you are taking the lives of people for God. Your neighbor, your street, the street by your side, that unbeliever by the way, that is a terror to people in that neighborhood. The Bible says, ask of me the hidden, and I will give the hidden to you, O God, as your inheritance. Praise the Lord. Look at what he said. He said, have I not commanded you? Verse 9. Am I not the one that has commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The Lord your God is with you. The greatest security you need in life is the assurance that God is with you. That's the greatest security you need in life. When you are sure that God is with you, you can take any step. So when I secure the, the, the acceptance, the support of God in the place of prayer, and I hear him say to me, go. I go because I know I'm more secure than any other one. Hallelujah. I declare to you, you are secured in the name of Jesus. But you see something, some people are secure, but they don't know they are secured. It's one thing for you to be secured, it's another thing for you to walk in that consciousness. Did you hear me? If you look at the story of Job, Job was secured, but he himself was not aware that he was secured. Hallelujah. Job chapter, I think it's verse 1 verse 23. Chapter 1 verse 23. The devil actually came to the company of God and said to God, I was attending the meeting where God is having a meeting. And God said, oh, Satan, are you there? He said, yes, I'm here. And God was about to bust up one of his servants. He said to him, have you considered my servant Job? He's a man that fears me and runs away from evil. You will run away from evil in the name of Jesus. He said he ensues evil. Balabo Shatagaba. And the big mountain devil said to him, God, I know the reason he fears you. Is because you have built an edge around about him. You have made him secured. And was Job secured? Yes. Baba is your greatest security. Permit me to call him Baba. I call him Baba in the place of prayer. He is my Baba. The spray welling up in my spirit. This is a new generation for the church. And it is a new generation for the king's heritage. It's a new generation for every member of the household of God. And as many that we hold on to the horns of the altar and begin to declare that they take possession, you will take possession. Praise the Lord. And God said, are you saying that he's serving me just because I built an earth? Because of the blessings? He said, alright. I can see that there's an opening. What was that opening? Job said, that which I greatly feared has come upon me. That means in spite of the fact that Jehovah had built security round about him, which even the devil knows that security was around Job, Job was not aware that security was around him. You will be aware of that which God has done for you. Hey, now brought to he said, my people are destroyed for lack of what? Knowledge. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. He said, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you what? Free. John 8.32 Pala was shot prana. That was it. But look at he was not aware of that security. Glory to God. I don't want to dwell so much on that. Fear is faith 
in the enemy's ability. And the Joshua army must not be afraid. Did you hear me? The Joshua army must not fear. Because fear will paralyze. Fear will set you back. Fear will empower your enemy. Fear will incapacitate you. Did you hear me? All right, go to the next verse, verse 10. Look at what Joshua did after hearing those words. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people saying, he did not beg the officers. The Joshua army, they speak with confidence. Did you hear me? Tell somebody, speak with confidence. <laughs> he commanded the people. Those are their rulers. Now Joshua was no more afraid because God has said, be strong and of a good courage. Don't be afraid of anyone. Praise the Lord. And so Joshua spoke to the people and said, go into the camp. Look at it. He said, pass through the camp and command the people. He didn't say beg the people. He said, and command the people saying, prepare provision for yourselves for within three days you will cross over this Jordan. And that is my prophecy to somebody today. Prepare your provision for within three days you will take over. I said within three days you will take over. Within three days you will take over. In the name of Jesus. He said prepare provision. The Joshua army, they are alert. He didn't want them to start getting ready when it was time to take over. He said now you start your preparation. Only a few minutes to prepare. Because in the next three days we are taking over. Hallelujah. And pastor said, the Joshua army understands the brevity of time. The brevity of life. Oh, Rebecca Tanjabalag. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Uh, that you will understand the brevity of life. Uh, in, the name, the, in the name of Jesus. You see, you don't have 500 years to live. You don't have 500 years to live. May you be aware of what is really important in your life. What is really important? May you be aware of the things that will make room for you. You see, some people know how to fight shadows. They fight shadows. They do the unimportant things. Why they leave the main important things? Praise the Lord. They understand the brevity of time. I'm here today as an echo to re-echo the things that pastor said last week. They understand the brevity of life. The brevity of life. Life is not eternal here on earth. Eternal life is where? In heaven. So stop saying tomorrow. Stop saying in the future. The future is now. Praise the Lord. What will God remember you for? That you bought a land? <laughs> Baba did not say that you will live here to buy lands and cars. He said to them, he said, go ye into the world and make disciples of nations. There is a command. Let your light so shine before men that they will give glory to me. I want to receive glory from your life. Praise the Lord. That is the reason you are alive. Balaka Pashata. Brosotelegebara. I remember, I think I always say this. When I was about to get married, one of the guys who were coming around. He looked at me and said, does he have a car? I said, does he have a car? I said, I'm bigger than a car. I will give cars to people. Praise the Lord. I said, but he has something that is very important. That is more important than cars. Than houses. And that is what? The fear of God. And the love for the kingdom of God. I want to ask you this afternoon or this morning. Where do you put the most important thing in your life? 
Where do you put them? Do you really understand the brevity of life? Do you understand those things that should be given priorities to? Do you know the things that God wants you to take possession of? What are those things? Look at what it says. He said, pass through the camp and command the people saying, prepare provision for yourselves. For within three days, you will cross over this Jordan. Crossing over the Jordan is a time of transition. Every time God wants to change your position, there will always be a Jordan to cross. Did you hear what I said? Every time you want to move to the next level, there will always be a Jordan to cross. There will always be a decision to make. There will always be what? A step to take. Praise the Lord. Jordan. What is your Jordan? Your Jordan doesn't represent fear, taking away fear. Does your Jordan represent him taking a new curse? Does your Jordan represent going to that street and looking at those women that you have written up before and saying to them, Jesus loves you? Can God count on you as a mouthpiece? What is your Jordan? Help me to ask two people by your side. Do you know your Jordan? 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 He said to them, we are crossing over where? The Jordan. To do what? To go in to possess the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess. Praise the Lord. The Joshua and me are not concerned about the comfort where they are presently. You see, when you are too complacent in those comforts, you forget to take the next step. Did you hear me? But do you know the prayer of some people? Let me just be comfortable. My life, my children, my husband, my family. You see, if it is just for you to be comfortable, you have not discovered your purpose. He said, I will bless you and do what make you a blessing. I will bless you and make you a blessing. You are light to the world. Your life should bring glory to God. Your life should make God proud. You should take possession. Take possession of that soul. Take possession of that neighbor. Let your light shine before them. So they can give glory to Jesus when they see the good works you're doing. Praise the Lord. I want us to go further. He said, in to possess the land which the Lord has given to us. The Lord has given us as a church the territory of Agege and Ijaya local government area. I didn't hear amen. Okay, because I didn't say the Lord has given us cars and motors. Praise the Lord. Learn the important things. Tell somebody, say, open your ears to know what is important. When you do that, the Bible says all other things. Everybody say all other things shall be added to you. One connection is enough to make you. One connection. Only one. <laughs> You see, I preached on Wednesday about divine speed. Divine speed is what will take you from the backside to the front side. Divine speed is what took Joseph from the prison to the palace. Divine speed in one day. It's what took Esther from being a slave girl to being the prestigious, the glorious queen of the king in one day. Maybe one month. Praise the Lord. So what I'm saying to you, God has opened territories for the church. God has released territories to us. It is for you to go and possess it. I will not go further than this. I just believe I came here to re-echo what pastor said last week. Life. 
It's not too long. Did you hear me? Life is not too long. Let it not be about you. He's concerned about you. He has you in mind. He said, follow me. And I will what? Make you. The God I'm talking about is not the one you follow. And he will use you. He's the one when you follow him, he does what? He makes you. He makes you. But you've got to trust him enough to abandon yourself on him. Because the making process, he doesn't want you to resist the making process. Did you hear what I said? He doesn't want you to resist it. You know when this is your will, this is what you want. And he wants to make you into this. Sometimes you can resist it. And so he doesn't want you to resist it. He wants you to what? Follow. Praise the Lord. And you cannot follow except you trust him. Absolutely. You know what he said concerning Abraham? He says, shall I go to Sodom and Gomorrah and destroy this land without telling my friend Abraham? He said, no, I can't do this. And you know what he said? He said, you know the reason I can't do this? He said, because I know Abraham. He's so concerned about me that he will command all his children after me. Hey, He will command all his children after me. He will make the people see that I am the essence of life. He will make the people see I am the way. He will make the people see that I am what matters. What do you make people see around you? What do they see around you? Do they see Jesus? Are they comfortable to discuss Jesus with you? I come here today to say to you, you are the light in this dark generation. You are the example for Jesus to showcase. You are the ambassador of Christ. In that workplace, you are the light. In your neighborhood, you are the light. In your street, you are the light. No other person for Jesus to count upon except you and I. Praise the Lord. And what happened to Abraham? I think it's verse 12. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1. Is that 12 or 13? Go to Genesis chapter 12. After Abraham commanded all his house to follow him. Give me Genesis. I'll close with that. My time is already up. It's not... No, give me verse 13. 13 verse 1. 13 verse 1. Genesis 13 verse 1. I, I wanted where he said he blessed him in all things and Abraham was rich in all things. It's not verse 13. Is it 14? Praise the Lord. Oh, verse 13 verse 2. Okay, it's 13 verse 2. He said, and Abraham was what? Very rich in what? In spiritual things. It's not spiritual things you saw there. Tell somebody, say, Baba understands that you need physical things. <laughs> oh, re makataba, ramba kologobe. See, I am glad of my father. He's not an irresponsible father. He's not an irresponsible father. If you commit all into his hands and pursue his work, Baba say, I know what you need. Did you hear what I said? I know what you need. I know you need a house. I know you need children. I know you need a God-fearing husband like Pastor Josephine. So, hmm? Don't be jealous. Celebrate my husband for me. I see great men and women coming out of this congregation. God is making a way for you. 
It shall not be by power, it shall not be by might, it shall be by the Spirit of the Lord in the name of Jesus. He said, Abraham was blessed, was very rich in livestock, in silver and in gold. Why? He commanded his house to what? Follow God. Zebra Takapasha. Give me the next verse. Give me the next verse. Okay, okay, okay. I can't go into this. But let's just stop in verse 2. Stop in verse 2. I just want you to look at this for a few minutes before I say you to stand up. And I want to spend one minute to say to you Baba is aware. Baba is aware. I always tell everybody, I didn't come from a rich home. A very, 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 very poor home as at that time. But we did all to serve God. It was God or nothing. But when we're serving God, it didn't look like, it looked like these ones, will they ever get out of this home? But I thank God for my baba. Zalobashi Tekesova. He's a father indeed. He knows your need. Did you hear what I said? He knows where you will be so that your Pharaoh will come and find you. Did you hear what I said? He knows where you will be as Queen Esther so that the king can send for you. He's the only one that knows. But before he can put you in those places, you will follow him. When he says, come for evangelism, you will come. When he says, serve in my house, you will serve. Everyone that serves in the house of God is building with the master. Because he said, I, Jesus, will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. So when you build in his house, when you serve in his house, understand that Jesus is laying the bricks and you are pouring water on the mist cement. Doesn't matter what you're doing. Maybe you are an usher. Understand that Jesus is building and then you are what? Mixing the cement. Did you hear me? Everything you do. And I conclude by saying, he's not a careless father. This is the result of it. And Abraham was very rich in livestock, in silver, and in gold. Stand up to your feet. <laughs> Lift up your hands and just dedicate yourself to God. You are designed to take territories for Jesus. It's a time for soul rededication. And I want you to really lift up your hands. I said lift up your hands. It's about you and Baba, you and God, you and your father. Just lift up your hands and commit yourself. Everywhere I've neglected your house. Everywhere I've not been an instrument to take territories for you. Father, I ask for grace today. I know you care for me. Pray, 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 pray. Magabala bashata. Magabala gabana. That job must not come ahead of God. I said that job must not come ahead of God. That family meeting must not come ahead of God. Now commit yourself to him. You understand the brevity of life. You understand the brevity of life. Oh, Zabaraba de Keshondo Gobada Kabada. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for your sons and daughters this morning. I ask, oh God, that you release in them a consciousness of the fact. That your kingdom comes first before every other thing. A consciousness that you are a good father. That as many that have left father and mother, houses, 
lands to follow you that you will bless them abundantly. Help this generation to set their priorities right. Help this nation to set their priorities right. Help the household of God to set their priorities right. To know that seeking you is the first thing, Father. Oh, say, brother, kapasha, dada, kabada. Lege bando soko, brother, geshia. Le brother, gazuze, kete, lege brando, gojua. Set our priorities right, oh God, as a church. Set our priorities right, oh God, as a nation. Set our priorities right, oh God. That we, oh God, will serve you like never before. And Father, we give you all the praise. Because we know you are a good father. You are a responsible one. You will bless your children. And give them more than they ever required. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Can you celebrate the father? I mean just celebrate him please. He is a good God. I can tell you that he is a good God. Hallelujah. Let's dip our hands into our bags and pockets and bring out an offering. Just to celebrate his goodness. To celebrate his faithfulness. No one, no one, no one, no one who has left father and mother to serve God ever regrets. No one. At a point, he asked his disciples. He said, since you started following me, did you lack anything? And they said, no. Hallelujah. I see the blessing of prosperity upon their house. Yes, yes. Every time you set your priorities right, he gives you abundance. He said to Solomon, he said, because you have asked me for wisdom and not for riches, he said, I will give you riches. That's the way God does these things. Praise the Lord. If you have, does everybody have their offerings? Glory to Jesus. It's not invoke again for some people to pay their tithes and their offering. But Baba does not change. Lebron do seva. Abraham will command his children after me. If you as a parent, you are not paying, how will you tell your children to do the same? You will teach them what you have to teach them. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. But I'm so glad the church in the King's heritage, we are committed to God. We are people who follow God wholeheartedly. Stand up to your feet if you have taken your offering and lift it up before God and say a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this offering. We ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you receive it, oh God. Let it come back to us good measure. Press down, shaking together and running over. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please let's, um, let's settle down as we listen to the church update. Um, you're reminded that this great service continues on Wednesday by... 6 30 p.m it is here in the church auditorium you want to you do not want to come along you want to invite your friends your family members and as well as your neighbors to come partake of what you are currently partaking in um membership school now the member membership school for sundays is now open it actually started this morning time